What's up guys? Welcome back to Melican Fishing. You know, today we're going to talk about one of the most underrated yet most important aspects of bass fishing and that is the knot. You know, when you rear back and set the hook as hard as you can on a giant bass, there's very few points of connection between you and that fish. And the most common area for breakage or failure is right there at that knot. So what I'm gonna do in today's video is give you four knots I believe every fisherman must know that will cover 99% of all the different scenarios you might encounter on the water. And I'm gonna tell you guys exactly when and why you wanna use those knots. Knot number one is the improved clinch knot. This is the most all around knot that I use for probably 75 to 80% of all my bass fishing. Whether it be with jigs, crankbaits, swim baits, spinner baits, spoons, this one right here is my bread and butter. And the great thing about it is it's the most simple knot out of the four to tie. So let's go get started. I'll show you exactly how to tie the improved clinch knot. All right, the first knot's the improved clinch knot, which is one of the most basic and simple knots to tie. And just to, for viewing purposes, I'm gonna use this large bolt and a large piece of rope so it's easier for you guys to see exactly how we tie this. So first off, we're gonna go through that hook eye. We're gonna come out about five or six inches. At this point, we're gonna twist this hook or lure, whatever you're using, about six to eight times. I usually like that number. And then we're gonna take that tag in and go right back through that last loop that we created. So once we're through there, we have this big open loop. We're gonna take the tag in and go back through that loop, and that's it. Now with all my knots, I like to use a little dab of saliva. Now what that does with all types of line, especially fluorocarbon, is it lubricates the line and keeps it from cutting into itself, causing a future breakage. So once you add that little drop of saliva, I just hold on to that tag end of line, and I slowly pull on the main line, and I'll cinch it all the way down. And once you're to that point, you have a rock solid knot for all different types of baits. Now when it comes to flipping the heaviest cover with that big flipping stick and straight shank hook, number two, the snell knot is my absolute favorite. If you want that hook to shoot forward right as you set the hook into a bass's mouth just like that, watch this video on how to tie the snell knot. All right, knot number two is the snell knot, and this is also an extremely easy knot to tie, yet it's awesome for flipping heavy cover. You know, it's important to know with this knot, it is very important in order for it to work properly that the line be inserted into the hook point side of the hook. We're gonna take that tag in, put it through the hook end side of that hook, and we're gonna pull it through about six inches. Once it's through, you're gonna grab it with your, your pointer finger and your thumb, and you're gonna hold that loop right there. At that point, you're gonna take this tag end and you're gonna wrap back up the shank five, to, five or six times, back up towards that hook eye, and then you're left with the tag end. Take that tag end and you're gonna put it right back through that loop you've been holding on to. Now at that point, all you do is hold on to the tag end and you're gonna pull on the main line and it's gonna cinch down. Now what that does, which is awesome for flipping, when that big bullet weight hits the front of the fish's mouth when it's coming through there, it will actually press against the hook and shoot that hook point forward. Now the mechanics of that will always make that hook shoot forward and hit some, some place in that bass's mouth instead of just slipping straight out sideways, which is a huge advantage. And that's why I believe the snell knot is the best for straight shank flipping hooks. You know, when times get super tough and there's desperate measures, even I bust out the old fairy wand sometime and tie on a drop shot. And there's only one knot for me that works perfect for the drop shot, and that is knot number three, the Palomar knot. If you want your bait to hang perfectly straight and vertically and have awesome presentation that's super natural for those finicky fish, take a look at how to tie this Palomar knot. All right, knot number three, the Palomar knot, is one of the most popular knots to use for fishermen, and I personally use it for drop shot rigs almost specifically. So since we're tying a drop shot rig, again, we're gonna have to note, we're gonna go through that top point inside of the hook. We're gonna go through there, and we're gonna go about 18 inches through. Now at that point, we're gonna double that tag end back through the main hook eye until there's a couple inches left on the main insel side of that. So now we're left with this big loop. So we do a simple overhand knot with the loop. And it's important to tighten it down just a little bit, yet not too much, because we're gonna pull back through there. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take this big loop we just created and go back over the hook. And at that point, you're just gonna pull on your tag in to tighten everything down. So once it's tightened down, and this is why it's perfect for a drop shot rig, you're gonna take that tag end and you're gonna go back down over the top, 
the hook point side all the way through there and you're gonna be able to put your drop shot weight on the bottom and that's gonna hold your bait perfectly vertical in the water column. Now sticking with the finesse applications, this next knot is ideal for finesse fishing and really any time you wanna tie a leader onto your line. And the knot that I love to use when I tie a leader, especially from braid to fluorocarbon in finesse fishing situations is the double uni knot. And while it is a tougher knot to learn how to tie and it takes a little bit of time to tie it, there is no better knot to me that's smaller, comes through the guides easier, and most importantly, is stronger than that double uni knot. Just to be able to differentiate between the two different types of lines, we got a white string and a yellow string. The white is going to be your main line, the yellow is going to be your leader. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna overlap these two by about a foot. So you're gonna pinch both lines like that, right in the middle, and you're gonna take this, this leader end, you're gonna, make it, you're gonna double back and make a big loop. Now in that loop, but you're gonna pass that line around both ends. I like four or five, sometimes even six times. So once you got it through there five or six times, we're gonna take that tag in and we're gonna pull it away while we hold the end of the tag. What that's gonna do is it's gonna cinch it down onto that main line. So then we're gonna go down here to the main line and we're gonna double it back and make another big loop exactly how we just did with the leader end. Now once we make the loop, we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna pass it back through and around the leader end and the main line end. We're gonna do that five or six more times. And once it's through there, we're gonna tighten it back down again. Now this part's the most critical and it's important to lubricate both ends of the line. So again, we're not gonna fray that four carbon line. We're gonna grab the leader end, we're gonna grab the main line end, and we're gonna gently just pull them until both those knots meet in the middle. Now once they're in the middle, that's it. I pull it until almost breaking point, and that's a rock solid knot. Perfect for braid to fluorocarbon, especially in finesse fishing situations. All right, that's it. That's all I got. Those are my four types of knots I use almost all the time when I'm bass fishing. If you guys got any questions, please just leave a comment down below. You know, as always, I answer almost every comment that I'll get unless I get hundreds of comments. Uh, but if you couldn't see exactly how to tie a knot, I'll do my best to explain to you exactly what I was talking about at any point. You know, I got a ton of great content coming. This is like my favorite time of the year to fish in this pre-spawn phase when you can catch the fish of a lifetime, the biggest fish of the entire year that are fattening up for spring, yet they're not quite thinking about spawning in our area yet. So I got a ton of great content coming. If you like these tip videos and you wanna go ahead and see more of the vlog fishing type videos as well, of course, go down and subscribe to Melican Fishing. Just tap that MF, I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for your time and watching. New video coming in a couple days. Peace. Thank you.